for children only the best is good enough. This is not an elite school. It is only a fantastic school where uh, the music is in the center. Very easy idea. Within the Music Institute, a primary school where music is not considered to be a hobby, but music is a central subject where the children are receiving it daily. Instrumental teaching should be four times a year and everything should happen in the morning. quite proud that we are the only one in Finland and almost in Europe that has this kind of co cooperation because it's very rare to have a private music institute and a comprehensive school. My intention was to have a color string school. Color strings means uh, string teaching after the Kodai pattern because we are making uh, the four strings of the violin, viola, cello, double bass. We are coloring. This makes easy uh, to read at the beginning and it's uh, much more child-centered than uh, any of the traditional teachings. The parents are coming with the children and the teachers are looking at where the child is interested and not going away but and, and ask the mother, can I come again? So we are um, testing whether the child has a motivation. Motivation is much more important than gift, than talent. Uh, if the motivation is there, almost from every child you can make a, a good musician. Kantel is excellent instrument to start with because the sound is so fine and you have to kind of like with any other string instruments you have to make the sound with your fingertips and by by giving a pressure in the right way you can make the sound louder or softer so that is the way how you start kind of controlling your power and controlling the way to use your fingers and these fine uh, movements to find different sounds. Like, how's the bear walking? How's the bird singing? Oh, what are the stars like? Or how the water drops do? Children have uh, uh, three group lessons a week and then they have one private lesson a week. So we teachers get to meet the children four times a week and I really, really like that because then we have a good connection and we have a good flow of making music during the week. Some of them are before noon and some group lessons are in the afternoon like um, one o'clock or two o'clock. I think that is a good time to give a lesson because uh, the children are still in an active mode. Yeah, it's our passion to make music and yeah, it takes a lot of time but it's, uh, it's fun. If we do music education, if we do whatever kind of education, 
we have to do it with a high responsibility because these early years between, let's say, 6 and 16 are the crucial years. So we know that all the connections in the brain are done. Children are most open for learning and everything what we teach them then will change their life. And this is one of the only schools in the world uh, I have seen who is fulfilling for me, for me the criteria of quality. So to make with quite really normal children, not super talented children, uh, really good musicians. And that's something what drove me here. We look the structure, we are finding secrets in the music, we are telling stories with the music, we are inventing stories with the music. What is the music telling? The violins are living, so they tell stories, they talk. So we find out how do they talk. Um, and that's game-like. That's what children love. Children are full of fantasy. Use that. Since 2003, the brain researchers from Helsinki University, they have been searching and testing and <laughs> following our children. Uh, it's like, like nine years. They started with the first graders and followed until nine years. And I saw on an international film here in the Helsinki University that our children, the brain is uh, much more rich than those uh, same social group, same age group, who were not doing music. What they have found, it really, it's, it's, it's proved that there is something, it happens in brains, that music gives more um, possibilities and abilities to learn. And now, this year, they started a new group with the first graders. So the same researchers are making the second nine years research. The fact that the, the children are uh, playing in a group, that makes it so much easier for me to do all this uh, team building and uh, group work. And, and like I said, they, they uh, um, work well in pairs and groups, at, but as well as a class. Also capability of uh, putting the stress out. So solving the stress of nowadays or this kind of... It gives much positive. It's only positivity that they get through music. Music has a uh, social function, no doubt. Usually there are five, six children uh, playing together. They learn so much from each other. It's, uh, these kind of things that no, one, no teacher can teach them. But they just watch, OK, what are you doing? I want to do also that. So it's not competing, it's learning from each other. And uh, they learn also social skills that, uh, OK, now I have to listen my uh, my uh, friend playing that, that, OK, now I'm doing the um, solo, I'm doing the melody, OK, now I'm doing the second uh, voice or something. They they learn so much that, that how to take care of the other people who are around me. And then the teasing almost the none. For instance, one thing, because the atmosphere is so good, psychological problems all are were almost solved. I came to this school to observe. It just started. And I was amazed by the special atmosphere in this school. I was amazed of the interaction about the children, how they were talking about music, how they were interacting with themselves, the kind of special atmosphere which I have found in no other place. And um, I found that those children are kind of more creative, more balanced, more calm, more reflective and more critical as well. To study music it helps in every level. It helps in concentration, it helps memorizing things, it helps you uh, work with groups, it helps you to listen others, it helps you to um, kind of um, see what's happening around you and it is very important for your uh, writing as well and mathematic skills and learning languages. So I think to play an instrument it is a way of um, kind of open your brain to, uh, to study more and make the capacity to take more information. Someone in from the ministry, or not ministry, but between the ministry and the schools, they told that this is too expensive school. 
and we proved uh, Heike, uh, the, the vice director, could count <coughs> out that this school is financially cheaper than any other normal primary school. One year, one, one male substitute uh, who was very sporty type, and when he came here, was okay. Well, what is this uh, singing and uh, playing? And after that one year, he said that this kind of thing should go to all schools, and that was something because he was not thinking that way at all when he uh, started the, first, the year. So if if the would be a possibility to take everyone who wants and build up so many classes that how many they are coming. Mm -hmm. I think the results are the same. That's what also Geza did in the 70s. Mm -hmm. He went to a school and took everyone who wanted to play violin and what happened? Mm -hmm. Still yeah. loving music, still professional, still playing in hobby orchestras and so still um, having the culture and music and arts mm -hmm. in their lives. That's the main aim. I think the world would be a better place if, <laughs> if this system would <laughs> take every child. Bye.